Hello everyone, this is Iyad and today we are going to do image carousel in Upgiver. I'll start by variables. I will add page variable. I will name it image list, which will contain objects. The list is of type list and contains objects and each object has two properties one is the id and the other is the url the id will be of type number and the url will be image url okay I start adding some images to the list with IDs so you can start adding and you can add whatever number you want I'll add four images and upload the files from the computer is the second one I'll change this ID should be two not one change it again okay because of the scroll of the mouse the third one and the last image Okay, now I will add another variable, another page variable. It will be the selected image, which will refer to the image which will be displayed from the list. It, it will be uh, one in the start of the application. The initial value is one okay i'll save it now and i'll start with the user interface i'll add the container i'll put image inside it and near the image i will have two icons these icons will refer to the chevrons which will be in the right and the left to the image I'll change the layout to horizontal and make the alignment to be to the middle okay I'll make the position of the container to be to the middle also I'll make the position of each icon to be absolute to be above the image I will add some spacing I repeat the same for the other icon make the spacing from the right to 8 pixels and ensure the align to be to the middle vertically ok I'll change the icon to be chevron I'll select this one with the left and the other for the right okay now I will put the source for the image uh, before that I will change the style, the, the width and height for the image I will set the dimensions to be the width to be uh, 300 pixels and the height to be 200 pixels 
okay I put the image in the middle uh, that's good I save and now I will set the source for the image Let's set the source. I use the formula. The source for this image will be from the image list. Dot URL. So I select the image list variable. The property URL of the image list variable. And I will select from this list the item which is the in the same uh, sequence of the selected image I'll put minus one because the image uh, which I have in the list starts from one to four and the list starts from zero to three okay now when I press the icon to the right I will move to the next image so I will adjust the selected image to be the selected image plus one but if I reach the last element it should move again to the first one so if I reached uh, the count of the list so the selected image is less than the count of the image list so I will add one okay let's put this so if the selected image is less than the count so it's less than four in our example I will add one to the selected image variable so I will go to the next one but if I reached four so I will go back to the first one which is one okay I'll copy this to use it for the left icon Let's set page variable and write the formula select the variable which is selected image and then assign to value which is formula and now I'll put for the previous image so for the previous image if the uh, image is greater than zero So I didn't reach the first image till now so I'll put uh, I will subtract one from the selected image variable else if I reach the first one I'll go to the count of the image which with which will give me the number four okay so if it's more than zero maybe this should be not more than zero let me check so it's more than one because I subtracted one from the image list source okay let's save and test it on the mobile phone go right okay it's working three four should return now okay good it's working going right and left let's go back to the user interface and now I'll just make some change to the style of the Chevron I'll make this uh, gray color and I'll decrease the opacity 
uh, to decrease the opacity I go to the layout no it's not in the layout I'll go to the style and edit advanced and put the opacity to be 0.5 I'll do the same for the left chevron and let's save okay now I will add a delay and set page variable in the logic of the uh, page why this because I want to make the uh, change of the image to be dynamic so when we start the page the image will uh, start moving forward uh, without pressing any uh, uh, any one of the of the icons so I will do the same as I did with the right chevron the same formula I'll use the same formula so if I didn't reach the last one I will uh, add one to the uh, selected image variable and if I reach the last one I will go to the first one which has the ID one I'll save and I'll connect this again to the delay so it will show the image delay for 3 seconds and then move to the next one by setting the variable with the new value and then go back again to delay and show the next one let's try it ok very good pressing to the left it will go to the previous image Okay. Let's go back and add some interaction to this. I don't want it to be a static movement between the image. I'll make it a little bit as the carousel so I will install the animate component I will add the animate component flow function this animate component will make the slide out and slide in for the image so after the delay after showing the image I will make a slide out to the right and then I will delay for milliseconds to ensure that the image slide out slided out and then I will uh, change the value of the variable okay let's correct this after the delay I will change the value of the variable and then slide the next image in to the view and then I will delay again so let's put this the, the animate component properties correctly I will animate image 1 and the animation will be slide out to right where is this slide in slide out right okay I put the duration to be 200 milliseconds so it will be sliding a little bit fast and then the slide in for the next image slide in right 
I didn't left. Yeah. Will the first one will slide out right, and the second one will slide in left. Okay. Let's save and try it. Okay. You will see here some from delay in the in showing the image. This is because of the mirroring app. So you can adjust the durations of the delays and the durations of the animation to to better values. So you can adjust here as you want. Just to ensure that the images are displayed in better way okay mm. it's good but let's make some changes here I do a trick maybe it's not logical to uh, I'll try to make the two animations uh, after each other so it will slide out and then slide in and then I'll set the page variable uh, this worked for me let's test it Uh, okay it's better now as I said you can adjust uh, and try uh, the, the the better solution for yourself and your mobile but this is good and this is the logic behind the image carousel Alright, let's go back to the chevrons and add the animation for each one. So, when pressing the right chevron, we should do the animation also, the slide out and slide in. So, I'll make a slide out to the right, then change the page variable, change the selected image page variable, and then animate the next image. This should be slide out right. That's it, and I change the duration to 300. Uh, and this one should be slide in left. Uh, that's it, yeah. Okay. Also, I should add here a delay to ensure that the image is displayed correctly. Uh, I'll put this delay before changing the selected image. Okay, and I will add another delay to ensure that the image will show after sliding in for a minimum of one second. Okay, I will copy the flow functions I added now and go to the logic of the left chevron and paste it 
and repeat the same but here I'll change just the animation from slide out to slide in so this will be sorry from slide out right to slide out left and this should be slide in right slide in right yes that's it let's save and test first one okay this is automatically changing the image let's try to press now yeah it's working perfect okay that's perfect now we almost finished the image carousel I'll add here the last thing which will be a pause button pause and play button so I'll add a container and two icons under the image put the icon inside the container and change the layout okay I'll change the style for the image and the layout of the container to align components to the middle okay and I'll change now the icons the first one will be the pose icon and the second one will be the play so now the user can pose the the, the image carousel on on an image and then when they press pause it will be changed the icon will change to play and then it will continue after pressing the play image I will add a page variable called pause and it's a true false variable let's save and change the appearance the visibility of the play variable to be as the pause so if the pause is true I'll put the, the initial value of the pose to be false so if the pose is true the play will be shown and if the pose is the initial value is false so uh, the visible will be the pose icon so when pressing the pose the image will stop now I'll set the page variable if the user pressed pause the page variable pause will be true okay I'll add an event now in the logic of the page if the page variable pause changed so that's mean I should stop the image carousel animation so I'll add if condition flow function and I will test the pose if the pose is false it will continue but if it's true it should 
stop in the delay so if the condition is still pause it will animate I delete the connector between this okay so it will show the image delay and then uh, it will see if the pause is false it will continue animation the, the animation if it's true it will stop And if the user pressed play, the pause value should be set to false. So a variable name should be pause and assigned value is false. Okay. Let's save and test it. So now it's moving right and left. Let's press the pause button. So press the pause, there is some delay in the mirroring application, so it stopped. Okay, very good, you can try it, and I hope this tutorial is helpful for you, and see you in the next one.